finally, um, he ta Deacon talks about how, is, how it is this sort of this initial symbolic system could have been set up. And he says that it was probably ritual that was used to, to, to help to, learn, to set up and to learn symbolic systems. Uh, and he, and he, the evidence he uses here is uh, rituals that humans use today. And he says that, well, it, in the same way that rituals used today are, are, are used in order to guarantee the truth of symbols uh, by reconstructing the indexical relationships upon which the symbol system is based, rituals could have been used to, to, to actually establish the indexical relationships um, that are uh, underneath the symbolic relationships, right? So, um, you know, see, he talks about these, I mean, I'm not going to go into the details, but he talks about these Yano uh, Mamo Indian uh, rituals, these peace rituals in which, um, you know, the, uh, in order to make peace, um, you know, one tribe invites the other tribe to come, or the village to come, and then, you know, the host, they, they lie in their hammocks unarmed, and they allow the, the guests to come and, and, and sort of, uh, you know, make threatening gestures with their weapons, but don't attack. Uh, so which, that is a sense that it's kind of a practicing of, you know, what's not going to happen. Again, kind of like what went on with the, with the, with the chimpanzee trials with, with Austin and Sherman, where you had to practice what's, what's not going to happen in order to be able to figure out this, the, the way the symbolic structure works, right? And so, um, what he's, you know, what he's, what he's suggesting here, or what, you know, the warrant here, is that demonstrating the truth of symbols is similar to establishing symbolic reference in the first place, right? And, and, it, and he's saying that it's, it has to be done through ritual, and he, he's trying to, I mean, he doesn't actually paint us a picture here of what these rituals might have looked like, you know, amongst the Australopithecines, uh, but he's imagining that there might have been some kind of of ritual process that would have then um, established these types of marriage. I mean, it could have been marriages, right? They could have had some kind of a marriage ritual uh, that would have, um, you know, cemented these bonds and sort of created the indexical bonds um, or, or, or referred to those indexical bonds in order to, 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 uh, to ground the symbolic relationships, right? Um, so, um, you know, what's key then, right, is that the rituals have to be continually repeated in order to then kind of guarantee the truth of the signs. And, and what's important is the truth of the symbol, which is to say that you're not lying, right? And so, um, if, you know, if, if, if there's, there's a constant repetition of the t same type of action of, um, you know, guaranteeing that, um, that prohibition, then that's what's going to happen kind of repeatedly. And it might have had to happen sort of as a, uh, as, as a similar kind of, you know, um, if, if in these uh, Yanomano rituals, it's like you, 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 you're, you're giving somebody the opportunity to attack, but not attack. It could have been that it, the ritual might have been you're giving the, uh, somebody the opportunity to philander, but they don't do it. And that, that's kind of the, the guarantee uh, of the promise or sort of the, the, the reinforcement of that promise, right?